Good day, Guardian. So, Bastion is not supposed to release until the 28th, but Bungie made the Corridors of Time puzzle early access, I guess. Um, so, I'm not going to get into how I feel about it. You can go on Twitter and see all that. But basically, if you want to know how to get it early, um, finish the, the Corridors of Time quest. You've, you've probably already done half of it. And now the community glad and all the boys right all the gentlemen and the ladies and gentlemen the wonderful ladies and gentlemen of the destiny community figured this shit out um 30 characters i'll show it right here on the screen this is the code to unlock the final part of the quest 30 doors you have to go through um once you finish that you get the chronometric core um you take this to saint he tells you to go to the tangled shore you got to collect five fallen intel you do this by killing servitors and captains i just loaded in went right to where you go to the Hall of Lair Strike, uh, kill that servitor, went right into the tanks, um, the empty, Lost Sector empty tanks right up on that balcony, kill the servitor in there, and then just uh, respawn right back into the Tangled Shore. Once you finish that, you go to the spider. The spider tells you to actually go into the Lost Sector empty tanks and kill Axinix bound by honor. You basically just go to the end, start killing off all the enemies, he'll spawn out of a door. Um, once you finish that, you are going to head back to the spider. And this is the big one. This is the one where everybody's been telling you to save 10 bounties for the past week. Uh, so you can turn those in instantly. Once you get this part of the quest, you defeat 30 challenging enemies with just any yellow bar. And then 8 public events. So heroics count as 2. It's been 3 years and people still don't know how to do an a heroic event. So it's about the same amount of time if you just blow through all of them. Just, you know, do normal ones because people literally are sitting there with spike grenades or whatever they got that has high damage and they're just melting them, so there's really no point. So, after that, you head over to the Lost Sector Trapper's Cave, which is in the Four Horn Gulch. Now, this one, you don't even have to complete it. You're looking for, it's right underneath the, the waterfall. There will be like a, I'll show the video right now, it's kind of like an outcove, but you'll find this dark ether that you have to scan. Once you find that, it'll give you the quest, the Hallowed Lair Memento. And it's basically a curated quest. And this is another thing that Bungie did that's like, why would you do that? Um, they made it where you don't kill the fanatic, but you kill a boss at the end with the fanatic. So you'll kill this boss, and that's it. People just leave. So you're almost done with the fanatic, and it's like, hey man, stay and get your reward. Nope, people just leave. They just back out. Because once you do that, you go to state 14 and you get Bastion. And it's not a bad gun. It's decent in PvP. It's decent in PvE. Um, it's not going to be a meta-changing weapon. Again, just kind of disappointing that Bungie roadmapped it and then gave it to us a week early under this amazing community event. Like, this could have been something amazing that Twitter was talking about. You know, Facebook, uh, Instagram, any name of social media. It would have been talked about anywhere, Reddit, anywhere. You know, in, in a great, positive light. But now... It's going to be talked about as how it was amazing idea, terrible execution, and what we received. So, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found us informative. Hope you learned something. Uh, don't forget to tell me I suck in the comment section. And as always, eyes up, Guardian.